Misi, one of the most important principles in management consulting about organizing and breaking down anything from problems to information to approach to work streams. Consultants work, speak, write, eat, and sleep with this concept. If you want to be a consultant someday, this concept becomes a must-know and a must-show in case interviews. Welcome to the next video in this amazing tutorial series, and the topic today is MISI. Hi, my name is Kim Tran, a former McKinsey consultant and the founder of the platform Management Consulting Prep. non mezy speaking detective. Okay, let's rephrase that. There are two things about me that make me creditable enough to talk about this topic. In the past, I've worked for McKinsey as a management consultant who used this concept on a daily basis. In the present, I'm running a career prep website which talks about case interviews and related concepts in great depth. I have coached hundreds of candidates of various backgrounds, including the smartest of Wharton, Harvard, and those from the World Bank. non mezy speaking detective. Okay, okay, that's enough. Let's turn this thing off. Anyway, let's get started with the topic. What is MISI? MISI stands for Mutually Exclusive and Collectively Exhaustive. That sounds like a buzzword, but if you watched our Case Interview 101 video, you would know that it really means just two things. Small parts cannot overlap, and the sum of those small parts needs to be equal to the big item. If you haven't watched that video, I strongly encourage you to do so. Though just to briefly explain the concept of MISI, it is important to see where MISI stands in the big picture of a case interview. In this video, I will explain these two insights in greater detail, and I will also introduce more insights which every consulting candidate should know. After that, we will look at some examples of non mesi in various settings, and also a practice problem in order to be more mesi in case interviews. So, what makes an approach or breakdown mesi? There are four characteristics of it, so let's talk about each one. Number one, the ME part. Small pieces cannot overlap with each other. For example, a non mesi way to break down the customer groups of in and out restaurant is A. Walk-in customers and B. Mail customers. This is a non mesi approach because there is an overlap. Some walk-in customers are male and some mail customers can be walking in. Number two, the CE part. The sum of all small parts needs to be equal to the big group. Let's say we fix the above example a little bit. Now the breakdown of in and out restaurant is A. Walk-in customers and B. Online customers. Even though the overlapping is removed, this is not yet MISI as the sum of the two groups does not represent the whole customer group. in and out also offers drive through service and these customers don't fall into either of these two groups listed above. Technically, the term MISI only means these two things. However, the implication goes beyond that, so let's talk about it. Number three, small elements need to parallel each other, or in other words, they need to be in the same class. For example, a non MISI way to break down the customer groups of In and Out Restaurant is A. Las Vegas area, B. Salt Lake City area, and C. California. While there's no overlap and the sum of these groups is approximately equal to the big group, this is not MISI in the sense that these small groups are not on the same level. It doesn't matter if we go for states or for metropolitan areas, but we need to be consistent. Number four, stick to the magical three. What if a candidate at this point proposes a method that meets all of the above as follows? In and out customers can be broken down in the following groups. 0 to 10 years old, 11 to 20 years old, 21 to 30 years old, 31 to 40 years old, 41 to 50 years old, 51 to 60 years old, and 61 and above. There's no overlapping. The sum really is equal to the total group, and all parts are parallel. However, this is still not considered MISI in the sense that there are too many parts. Normally, the human mind cannot comprehend more than four items. The management consulting industry has been using this principle for years. We call it the magical three, in which the optimal number of bullets, ideas, and elements is always three. Sometimes we may use two or four, 
but over five is too many. Okay, now that we know everything about MISI, let's look at some fun examples of non-MISI communication that we can find. You will notice that even people with management consulting experience violate these rules. It's not to say that those people are bad at structural thinking. Sometimes people have different purposes, and I don't blame them for choosing the non-MISI approach. I will mention these just because they are educative and good food for thought. So, example number one, the website menu of caseinterview.com. This is probably as non-MISI as it can get. Number one, the big overall site name is Case Interview, but one part of it is already Case Interview? Two, so do these articles talk about Case Interview, Consulting Resume, or McKinsey PST? Three, why does Casebook stand on the same ground with McKinsey PST? Is a tool parallel to a topic? And we haven't mentioned that this is a 13-item menu. Thirteen? You can go on and on in this list. Example number two, the people section on the McKinsey website. Here you will find that two items under our people are who we are and leadership. These two items are not parallel. Leadership is more like a part of how we are, which is not used here. Finally, let's do a quick exercise to see if you really have mastered the concept of MISI. Can you point out why this is not MISI? Please comment below on how you would fix it. Enjoy! Here it is. How to get into BCG is broken down into have an impressive education background and working experience, have a good consulting resume, pass the BCG potential test, be good at analytical and other consulting skills, and do really well in case interviews. Well, I hope this has been a fun and helpful lesson on MISI. Make sure you participate in the discussion by commenting below. Don't forget to also subscribe to our YouTube channel as we have a lot more coming up. At Management Consulting Prep, we believe everybody can make it to consulting. Are you a believer? <laughs> Non-Measy, speaking detective. Didn't I say turn this thing off?